all right using the new selfie stick rig up hopefully this will work Definitely kind of muddy out here. A lot mud muddier than the other trail the other day. Yeah, I think the girls like that other hike we did. Um, they're complaining at the beginning it was boring, but <laughs> it's kind of funny once they found the ice they could break. They started liking that, and then some of the fallen trees they could climb on. They started liking that a little bit more. Whatever gets them out. The new packs they got have hydration bladders in them. Not really big on hydration bladders myself, but they thought it was a cool idea. So, again, whatever, as long as it gets them out. If it starts getting them out, if they start liking it and pushing me to get out, that's good too. I definitely need to be getting out more. I slacked off since uh, since we got married. since the last hike with, between the last hike and the video before this one gosh it was almost it was about five and a half months that is just way too long it is way too long to go between hikes You know, talk about wanting to get out. You know, get in shape. Do these longer hikes like the Washita Trail, the Ozark Trail, Texas Trail. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna go go and do those if I'm never out training. I can buy all the gear I want. But if I'm not out walking, I'll be dying. I'm going to go and do the Bushcraft Global Adventure. be fun want to uh, there goes that plane well that was a loose rock
want to take more Sigma 3 survival courses. But again, if I don't have at least a base level of fitness, I'm not going to do any of that. And besides that, you know, I want to be around for my kids and my wife. them many more years too. So I mean, you know, I've got my workouts, but you know, there's workouts and then there's, you know, hiking. a little bit different cardio and different sets of muscles just remember I used to uh, wrestle in high school these football players used to think they were all in shape and you know they were in shape but they were in football shape they used to talk a little bit of trash about me how they're in shape and all this stuff to the wrestlers and you know once or twice a year the uh, wrestling coach and football coach would get together and send a couple of those mouthy football players down to the wrestling room I put those football players through a uh, wrestling workout. <laughs> and those, uh, those football players <laughs> wouldn't be mouthy anymore. They learned. So, just because you're in one kind of shape doesn't mean you're not in another. So, I gotta get back into the hiking shape. Get the hiking cardio back. Working all the micro muscles in the legs. And the body to work in conjunction with itself for, for this goal. I wish I never took that break. You know, my excuses, you know, schedules just didn't line up to allow me to, to come out here with and take the hikes with the, the wife and the kids and the driving and getting the licenses and jobs and all that stuff long story lots of excuses that's all they are is excuses maybe I could have found a way but I guess the important thing is I am out here now doing it. So let's do it. What's your excuse for not being out? Doing something. I mean, maybe there's there's a few exceptions, so I don't want to sound too insensitive. 
but for the most part there's not many good reasons that you can't be out every once in a while doing something even just a little bit Ooh, with all this mud I am glad I brought a trash bag and a change of shoes for the car Oof. Oh, whoa, two big steps in mud. I guess it's that way. Well, it looks like they changed up the trail from how I normally go. Looks like they marked out one of the markers near the beginning. So I don't know if this is the way. Usually I get like an epic shot of the river. And walk along the river for a while, but I haven't seen that, so I don't know what's going on. So I'm like really confused. So as, as to what's happening with this trail. They were planning to, I don't know if they want to, if you want to call it revitalize or if that's what they're calling it, or change a few things up here, but I figure they just may clean it up or add some trails, not redo trails, or I don't know, maybe the trails have been altered so much they moved them back. Well, okay. It says go that way. It says go that way. But I'm used to coming that way. Used to coming up from that way though. Huh. Well, I don't know. Or at least I think I'm used to coming up from that way. It's been so long since I've been on this trail. So just, I don't know, follow the, the marker, follow the trail marker I wanted to be on, we'll just see what happens, kind of like I said in the last video, we're not too far from, I mean this is kind of the same area as before, so not too far from you know, getting help if, if I need it, 
and if I get lost, it's, you know, just, you know, three, four miles in, in any cardinal direction. And then I would uh, be at a spot where, where I can find it, where I can find help. I mean, it's either, you know, the river, a highway, or a major road. In any direction, so. I'm not too worried about being stranded. Bad all hiking adventures in the country aren't like that. And again, I guess you wouldn't be out in the wilderness if it was. But sometimes places like this is a most convenient option. For some people, it's the only option. Luckily, it's not the only option for me. Ooh, selfie stick slid down there. Uh-oh. No trail marker. I'm just gonna assume it's this way. Just keep an eye out for trail markers. After getting sidetracked on a hobo trail, I think I may have found the trail I'm supposed to be on. Saw a guy running by with his dog that uh, started out with me. So, or, you know, started uh, his run at the same time I started my hike. So, I think you took the other uh, the other direction of the, the loop of the trail, and I took this one. So saw him running by, probably thirty yards to uh, to the east. So I think I got wandered onto a hobo trail. And so he was on the main one where I should have, whoa, where I should have been. So I just kind of took another hobo trail over to that. <laughs> and I feel pretty good that I'm where I'm supposed to be now. something metal way up ahead through the trees. I don't know if that's uh, off the top of a building or is there something reflecting? I still feel like going this way cut me off a lot of this view. I don't know if they, again, I don't know if they altered the, the trailer or what, but I feel like, I feel like I missed a lot of this river, river walk. That's what I really like, is walking along the river.
check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit. And, you know, I really appreciate you 